And we start with vote 2022. Tuesday was mostly good night for incumbents in last night's primary elections, except for two Hudson Valley Assembly Democrats. And for that, News 12's Jonathan Gordon is in Hastings with more on this. And Jonathan, of those two from the Hudson Valley, how did the races play out? Well, what we saw is that voters here in the sort of central west side of Westchester, as well as those in Ulster and a little bit of Dutchess County, well, they cast aside decades of incumbency in favor of a fresh shot at new representation at the end of the year. Westchester legislator Mary Jane Shimsky and activist Sarah Hanna Shrestha both knocked off longtime Democratic Assemblyman Tuesday night, beating Thomas Abenanti and Kevin K. Hill, respectively. Taking on an incumbent is very, very difficult. Both winners were backed by the Progressive Working Families Party. Shrestha also had the support of the Democratic Socialists of America. Every generation needs its government that reflects the, the time, you know, that reflects that era. Both support similar issues, health care, housing, and the environment, though in somewhat diverse ways. But both hope to usher in a new era for their districts if they win in November. There was a, a desire among many people to open up a new chapter. Abenanti held his seat for 12 years, Cahill for 26, and both had endorsements from the Democratic establishment, but it did not matter. This is not a race that spent a lot of money. This is a race that thought a lot about how to bring people in. Now they're looking ahead to November, trying to unify the party behind them. And Jonathan, what are the odds that Shimsky and Shrestha win in November? So both of the districts, they lean Democratic. Uh, Shimsky tells me that she is very confident that at this point it went uh, so blue in the last presidential election that she believes that they will be fine. The real question here with Shrestha is, uh, will she be able to buck a trend that has essentially seen a few very progressive candidates outside of some high profile races in New York City being able to win a general election? Of course, we'll get that answer come November. Back to you.